So welcome to the channel and the site where today I am going to review a couple different manga. The first volume is a couple different manga, all with the same theme but very different takes on them. Today I'm going to uh, talk about Re-Monster Volume 1, um, That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime Volume 1, and How to Build a Dungeon Volume 1. All of these manga take the basic premise that they're about, well, two of them specifically are about a human who is reincarnated as a fantasy monster, like a goblin or a slime or things like that, and kind of have to figure out how to get ahead, if you will, in this very different context and as a low-level creature. How to Build a Dungeon is about the evil wizard who is stalking a, uh, a dungeon to try to, you know, fight off adventurers and heroes, and how he goes about that, and kind of what the, the expectations and, and needs are. I'm going to start with Slime. How, that, that, time got, that, that, that time I got reincarnated um, as a slime. It actually was originally a, a novel published on the internet, which then got, you know, um, a lot of attention, and then eventually this, this manga adaptation. And this is um, one of the ones that I would say is the most um, straightforwardly fun. The main character is this sort of average Japanese salaryman guy who dies and finds himself as a slime. He has no eyesight, no whatever, but he can absorb things. And he starts absorbing things that, like, can give him sight. And so he has that D&D thing where you absorb a thing and, ding, you get the, the new skill or the new ability. And so then he gets sight, and he gets other things as he explores the cave he's in, and then goes off into the wider world. I should also point out, I'm going to try to avoid any you know, major plot spoilers in any of, any of these reviews, as always. Um, what's fun is that he's really trying to... Um, he's trying to, to find ways of kind of having... Uh, to have agency, to actually you know, do things in the world, and not just kind of wander around constantly eating. Um, and just kind of, you know, it's a very boring life. And so he starts, like, making deals with people, and it's very odd, but very fun to, to watch that. Um, and so the nice thing is he is a, um, you know, he's not a jerk, he's not trying to manipulate people, um, um, you know, he'll keep some secrets as necessary, um, so he doesn't get screwed over, but, um, he's generally a, you know, a, a decent human being, thrust into this very weird situation. Um, I'm also a fan of the art. They do a nice job of making the characters... See if we can get a pretty good shot here. Uh, so these, these are some goblins that he gets involved with. Um, and the goblin village. So the art is relatively realistic. Um, except for things like, you know, the slime. So we'll see if we can get a good shot of the, the slime himself. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, yes, there's... So there's a slime. He's literally just a little slime. Uh, but he also has these, you know, uh, these things where he faces off with people. It's, I mean, he has some really epic moments in this manga. Um, he has to fight some people and so forth and so on. So that's really interesting. Um, and uh, especially because he does things like he decides that all the goblins need names. And so he starts naming them and then discovers that, well, actually, that's kind of a plot. That's kind of a, a spoiler. So I, I won't get into all that. But... He has to re uncover and realize all the rules of this world and how it works. And learning all that while he's trying to accomplish things is really interesting. Um, it's also nice that it is um, very upbeat. There's nothing creepy. You know, there's no fan service that I recall at all. Um, you know, all of, um, all of the goblins wear, you know, at least like loincloths and things. And it's, you know, large scraps of cloth. So, um, you know, there's nothing here that I, I would imagine anyone getting really creeped out about. Okay, there is a, a little bit of fan service when he reaches a city and, um, you know, uh, uh, there are some cute girls around. You know, clothed, no, no problem there, but, you know, um, sometimes they're wearing slightly skimpy outfits. Other than that, um, it is a, um, just a fun big adventure story. Contrast that with Remonster. This is in, uh, one in which a human is reincarnated as a low-level goblin. Um, the difference is that he, in his past life, apparently was in some kind of fantasy universe. And 
he got ahead. He was he he was a hard charging individual who was you know really pushing and, and doing things. So he's constantly looking out for number one. He's constantly trying to 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 get ahead to to look out for himself. And so he's a bit well. That's him on the cover. And you can see he's a bit more like the typical shonen hero, where he's a bit more gritty. He's willing to do unpleasant things to for the greater good, if you will. Um, especially if the greater good means him, you know, um, moving on in life and 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 you know, gaining power and things. So he is overall a mm, he's an he's a complex role model. He's not Superman. He, he's not a Boy Scout. Um, but he does have a moral center. There are still things he will not do. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, and th while Slime covers a, a fair amount of time, Re-Monster is very... Um, it goes much more sort of day by day. In fact, literally it starts day one, day two, day three. The end of this this uh, this manga is, I think, day thirty one. So you're really seeing how he is progressing in this goblin camp, who he's interacting with, how that goes. Um, you know, some people don't like him very much, and how he deals with that, and how how they, they deal with all kind of the politics of it. Um, and he kind of like the slime. He has the ability to um, absorb things if he eats them, and so that's kind of how he gets particularly powerful, particularly quickly, as a low-level goblin. Um, I should point out, um, there is an important plot point in here. That is that goblins um, die so quickly that they cannot afford to have their females uh, remain pregnant for any length of time. So they kidnap human women to do that for them. And early on, he realizes this, and he is way too young and small to do anything about it, but, and this is a, a plot element that I think is, is important to, to reflect on without getting into too many details, um, as soon as he's able to do something about it, he does something about it, and consistently in the manga he avoids that happening in the future. Um, so, it is creepy, and it is presented as a creepy thing, um, and then they're like, but we don't have to do that, and we can, we can, you know, ensure folks don't do that, which is kind of nice. I should also point out, there is no fan service here, except for a couple of cute goblin girls. Um, and there's some human girls that you see in here later on who are, you know, pretty inattractive, but there is no nudity. Um, even the, like, little goblin children all wear loincloths, and all the girls wear, like, halter tops. So, you know, it's, there's nothing fan service-y in this that I recall whatsoever. And I'm flipping through it back now, and, and certainly true. Um, so what's interesting about uh, Remonster is that the main character is more of a gritty character. He is um, trying to, again, I keep saying it, trying to get ahead by... And, and he realizes the best way to do that is by bringing the goblin tribe, tribe together to do good stuff. To, to, not to do good things, but to be stronger, to be more effective to um, um, accomplish things, you know, uh, in their world. That's what will keep them safer than if they're just kind of this weak tribe over, um, um, you know, that maybe no one will deal with, or maybe they just get, you know, wiped out. So he's trying to build up their strength so that they will survive. Um, I found it a really interesting story from that perspective, where I'm just intrigued where this is going to go. I'm intrigued with what th th there's more of a sense that there are moral and ethical dilemmas that the main character is going to have to deal with around that that, that this series um, is more willing to tackle than slime will moving on to how to build a dungeon uh book of the demon king this is about an basically a, an evil wizard although you get the sense that he was wronged in some way there's some backstory to all of it who is then who's decided to build a dungeon he's going to you know carve out space and it begins with him summoning a succubus, um, or, well, summoning a demon to manage the dungeon, and it's a succubus, and there was this girl, um, and she asks why a succubus, and he explains, well, because I need somebody who is good at 
dealing with people and and understands relationships and a succubus is more likely to know that and frankly if i'm going to spend months with a demon i'd rather be a pretty girl right um and she's like oh fair enough and um they then proceed to have sex quite a bit um several times um turns out this is a kind of a soft core hentai no uh, manga um now, I should explain and, and caveat that by saying that all the characters have Barbie doll anatomy below the waist, um, so there's nothing explicit there, um, but he ends up being surrounded by, like, half a dozen attractive females, um, and they have sex pretty, pretty, pretty frequently. I should also point out that there is plot. Um, you know, that is essentially the, the spice around the story of him building this dungeon and about why he's building it the way he's building it and he's clearly a very clever person and he is doing things like you see how he deals with nearby villages how he instills fear in them without just wiping them all out because then that, that means he has no resources around him right so there's this it's like there's a difference between lowercase evil and uppercase evil where he is technically evil in that he will kill people um because they won't do what he wants to do but he's not just he's not the joker right um and so that's that's actually interesting i'm intrigued to see where this story goes um that said it is for grown-ups this is an 18 plus book there's no question about that um, also, the language is very adult. You know, they are very upfront with each other about what they're doing, right? Um, and so what I like about it is that while there is this content in it, that is not the focus of the book. Um, it is kind of like an ecchi anime or ecchi manga, actually, where, yes, there is occasional, you know, nudity or boobage, but that is rare, but, you know, that's not what's happening every 30 seconds. Like, there's other stuff going on, and that is the the spice in that show, if you will. That's what this manga feels like. Um, I can't just generally recommend it, because, you know, he like said, it's then suddenly sex. Um, and it, it's pretty frequent. Um, but there is more stuff going on there. Um, so, all told, like, Slime, for me, I think is going to be my fun book where I want to see where these characters go, I like the characters, I like where they're going with it, and it does hint at some larger, more complex stuff happening, some um, stuff regarding the main character, um, and like, like his past or his future or something, like there's something bigger going on there. Um, Re-Monster is more about the, the ethics, it's more about um, tackling what this would actually be like, and what you have to kind of do to pacify a tribe of goblins, for example. And then, if I believed in guilty pleasures, this would probably be uh, uh, one of them. But there is... There's a lot of thought put into why these characters are doing what they're doing, and how one would actually do these things in real life, if you will. So that is interesting. Um, I do plan on reading more of them. There are, I think, a few volumes of each of these out already in America. Haven't... haven't uh, check them out yet, but FYI, um, and I hope that you find this useful, and uh, maybe one of those will work out for you. So until next time, I hope you uh, find and read some more interesting manga.